said, shit, I'm out. So some of you guys know that I'm not really a laptop gamer kind of guy. I prefer using a desktop PC. That is where I prefer to do work and game on. You know, I'm sorry. I just, I like higher FPS and I like my high refresh rate. I haven't come across any laptop that can give me that same experience. So over time, my interest in gaming laptops has decreased monumentally. And I was kind of upfront about that with Origin when they emailed me about sending me one of their new laptops. You know, I told them, I'm not really interested, but if you guys want to send in your laptop, I'll probably just put it in an unboxing video instead of doing a separate dedicated. And uh, they replied with, just give us your address. We're pretty confident you're gonna like what we send you. So fast forward a week later, here we are. First off, I had no idea the laptop came inside of a crate. That was interesting and really fun to unbox and kudos to Origin for having the laptop packaged really well, by the way. So here it is guys, the new Origin Eon 17X. This thing is an absolute chonker. This laptop might very well be faster than the PC you're watching this video on. You guys ready for the specs? So we got the Intel 11th Gen Core i9 11900K which is an eight core 16 thread processor, by the way, that can boost clock up to 5.3 gigahertz. We also got 32 gigabytes of RAM running at 3200 megahertz, two one terabyte M.2 SSDs, one for the operating system and one for storage. It's also got a 17 inch full HD 300 hertz refresh rate. That's not a typo. And the RTX 3080 Max P. This laptop is pretty much on par with the PC I have back at home. We got 8.3 pounds of hardware packed inside this aluminum body, you guys. And this is the first time I've seen a laptop come with two power bricks. That's actually insane. So obviously on paper, this laptop is amazing, but I really wanna test it out and see if I can enjoy gaming on this as much as I do with my desktop PC. Now, obviously this is not a comparison by any means because we are comparing two completely different products, but if you're gonna drop a couple thousand dollars on a gaming laptop, then you know, you should have an enjoyable experience at the very least, right? I mean, that's not, it's not too much to ask for. This model in particular goes for a little under 5,000 US dollars, by the way. You can build a really good looking system or buy a good looking system with this much money, even with today's GPU prices. However, I do understand that there is a huge market for laptop gamers out there simply because of the form factor and the way their setup is built. So building or buying a desktop PC is out of the question in that case. Ultimately, I just wanna know if Origin can change my mind about gaming laptops. I've actually downloaded a few games for us to test out. One of them is an RPG game that came out recently called Outriders. And I also wanna test the laptop with competitive games. So I'll be switching over to Modern Warfare and clap some kids in hardcore. But before all that, let's quickly go over the features of the laptop.
For starters, I love the keyboard deck. The keys itself are a lot smaller than what I'm used to, but it doesn't bother me one bit, especially if it means that I get a full numpad. I use this thing a lot. Besides, it didn't take me long to adjust to the smaller keys. All the keys are fully customizable with their software, and you can even change the RGB lighting on each specific key, which is really cool. There are even some effects you can choose from over in this section, and I just found this out, but the laptop has a light bar in the back, which can also be customized. So if you're an RGB fanatic, then you're really gonna love this. The laptop also comes with built-in SXFI audio, which I haven't heard yet. In fact, let me uh, load something up real quick to test out the, uh, the speakers. Let's do my popular Kobe PC build. There you are. It had to be things, weren't gonna pull my attention. It had to be things that were, I had a purpose. I wanted to be one of the best. What? Where is that audio coming from? Holy hell, so there's like an entire speaker grill going across the front of the laptop. Wow, these actually sound like desktop speakers, you guys. Basketball players will ever play. And anything else that was outside of that lane, oh my I god, didn't have time for. This is like half volume, too. Oh man. Let's put the volume to the max real quick. Yeah, you guys probably can't hear that through the video, unfortunately, but these, these speakers do pack a punch. I did notice a little bit of rattling at high volume or max volume, but I can't really complain because these speakers are miles better than any other laptop I've reviewed on the channel. So well done, Origin. For connectivity, you get a bunch of options. A full SD card slot on the left for starters. Thank you, Origin, I do appreciate that. Uh, you also get your audio jacks, two USB 3s, and on the opposite side, you get an additional USB 3 port with two Thunderbolt 4 ports. But that's not all. There are even more ports in the back of the laptop as well. I'm actually glad they moved both of the AC power ports in the back. It would have been really annoying to have those cables coming out of the sides of the laptop. You can also hook up three additional displays using the full-size HDMI port and both of the mini display ports. There's also a full-size Ethernet and an extra USB-C port in the back as well. All right, so the first game we're gonna test out is uh, Outriders. If you guys have been on my Discord server, then you'll probably see me play this every single night. I'm not even kidding. I've been playing for about two weeks straight. It's very addicting. I have two main characters on here currently, a 25 Pyromancer, and uh, this is my alt I just created actually uh, last week, which is a Trickster. So currently playing on uh, Ultra Settings in 1080p. We are getting a little under 100 FPS, so we're definitely not taking advantage of the 300 Hertz refresh rate. This is obviously a bit more of a graphically intensive game, I guess, so you're not gonna be hitting any triple digits. Unless you lower the settings, of course, but who wants that? So in some cases, we are dipping a little close to 60. Let's see how many FPS we can get in battle. Looks like there's some enemies up ahead. Okay, looking pretty good so far. When I activate my abilities, I do notice a little bit of uh, frame dipping, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing too distracting. It's definitely playable for sure. Temperature wise, actually we're doing really good. GPU hovering under 65 degrees Celsius and CPU temps around 85, 86 C. So fairly cool temps for the most part. It doesn't seem like any of the parts are thermal throttling. 
We are getting near 100% usage on the, on the graphics card. All right, so we haven't been playing with DLSS on this entire time, and we've been averaging between 80 to 100 FPS. So let's switch over to some DLSS gameplay to see how much of an impact there is on performance. So all Origin PC 30 series RTX gaming laptops feature DLSS technology that uses AI and RTX tensor cores to deliver up to two times the performance in the same power. And that's pretty much what we're seeing here with Outriders. We are getting the same performance as before, but with a higher quality. Keep in mind that a GPU needs to calculate almost 4 million pixels for a single 1440p frame, but DLSS requires only a fraction of the pixels, which improves efficiency and increases performance. Okay, we're dipping pretty close to 60 now. So it looks like the only time it would dip under 60 FPS if there's a lot of action happening uh, inside the game. So a lot of explosions, a lot of particles. That's, we can, that's when we can see like under 60, even 50 FPS. So yeah, that is Outriders. Let's switch over to some, uh, some Modern Warfare. All right guys, enough messing around. We're gonna play some hardcore shoot the ship on Modern Warfare and test out the laptop and see how well it can handle in a more competitive setting if that makes any sense so let's get to it we have call of duty currently set to maxed out settings as you guys can see here everything is pretty much maxed out either high or ultra starting out with some kill confirmed and shoot house So far, so good. Really smooth gameplay. Oh god. Oh, look at that little camper. Nice. No! Oh, well, I got a veto. We're good. Let's drop it. Let's drop it over here. And I killed myself. That's great. I think the biggest thing for me isn't actually the frames, it's the smaller screen size. Because I normally play on a 27 inch, so switching down to a 17 inch is definitely a huge, huge difference. But it's definitely something I can get used to. Temps are also looking really good. A lot cooler compared to Outriders, that's for sure. 61, 62C on the graphics card. 85, 87C on the CPU. Oh my god, what a way to start. Holy hell. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I had to kill you. You were in the way. Oh, nice. How do you spot him? How do you spot spot behind me, dude? Uh. I'm gonna die. Ah! Let's go. Let's go. Oh man. Okay, damn, I'm sold, you guys. I've uh, never had this much fun gaming on a laptop before. Uh, and that's a fact. 
Will I be switching over from my desktop PC to this? Fuck no. But if I'm ever in a situation where I'm away from home and I desperately need to clap some kids online, then you bet your ass I'll be gaming on this laptop. In fact, our baby is due in two weeks. Uh, and guess what I'll be taking with me to the delivery room? <laughs> I feel like this laptop couldn't have came in at a better time. So with that said, if you guys wanna check out the Origin Eon 17X, make sure to click the link down below. You can even customize your laptop, which is perfect if you're on a budget because you can choose what parts go into your gaming laptop. So definitely check out the link and mess around with the configurator to see what kind of specs can fit in your budget. Origin PC also offers 24 seven, 365 lifetime customer support with all of their PCs. By the way, if you guys are playing Outriders, make sure to add me in game. My username is TechSource, just one word. Uh, feel free to add me and we can play together. But that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one.